everyone, it's Megan and today I'm here to be doing my bookshelf tour for 2017. I obviously was going to put this up Friday, Friday was going to be put up but I had issues with my internet so I'm refilming the introduction phase, this is what I'm doing here and so yeah, so you're going to get my bookshelf tour today. Without further ado, I will not like tell you what I'm doing in this video because obviously I'm going to be going through my books on my shelves. So without further ado, let's get on with my video top of my bookshelf it's quite messy as you can see i have like um a little glass balloon thing it's like an ornament i haven't put it up yet it's still kind of sitting in that box and i have the maze runner series by james dashner anything up here i will not get down because it's a pain in the backside, so it's staying where it is i have the kill order the maze runner the scorch trials and the death kill all by james dashner i have a few of my graphic novels up here I'm not going to get these out because it, it's just it's pain in the bum again to get all these down but they're up here and I've also got a wooden Alice in Wonderland Mary on birthday ornament up here too just thought it was really cute so I just left it up here so this is my first actual shelf on the actual bookcase that's full of my books quite messy but not too bad. I have some Harry Potter wands from the Warner Brothers studio. At the front I have Sirius Blacks. Behind that I have Hermione Grangers. Over on the right I have Luna Lovegoods and of course I had to have Harry Potter's wand as well. <laughs> so first I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets illustrated by Jim Kay and written by J.K. Rowling. The Diviners by Libba Bray. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in the Gryffindor 20th Anniversary Edition by J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And lastly, my beat-up edition of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, all written by J.K. Rowling. The Tales of Beedle the Bard, but also by J.K. Rowling. Passenger and Wayfarer, all by Alexandra Bracken. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Truth Witch and Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Red Queen and Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. I'm missing King's Cage because I haven't got it, bought it yet at all. Oopsies. The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Curry, and finally The Orphan Queen by Jodie Meadows. So this one is my second shelf. As you can see it's full of my Rick Riordan collection, my Sarah J Mass collection as well, and a few odds and sods as I like to call them sitting on my shelf. So first I have like a Castiel Funko Pop, and here's Leviathan form. So. I have a Resense Kiss candle from the amazing William and Joseph. This candle absolutely smells gorgeous. I totally recommend them. And a Nightmare Before Christmas music box that plays simply meant to be because it just had to go on this shelf. I didn't know where else to put it, so it's kind of just there. So first we have a Court of Thorns and Roses, a Court of Mist and Fury, and A Call of Wings and Ruin, all by Sarah J Mass. Next I have Throne of Glass, Air of Fire, as you can see I am missing Crown of Midnight, and The Assassin's Blade, I do not own them, I skipped them because I read Crown of Midnight and the other one as an ebook, so I haven't got them ones yet. Queen of Shadows, and Empire of Storms, I apologise for my shakiness, I have not got a tripod, I'm filming by hand and I'm shaking. Percy Jackson, oh focus, focus, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Lightning Thief, the Sea of Monsters, the Titan's Curse, the Battle of the Labyrinth and the Last Olympian. Next we have the Lost Hero, the Son of Neptune, the Mark of Athena, the House of Hades and the Blood of Olympus all by Rick Riordan. The Hidden Oracle and The Dark Prophecy, also by Rick Riordan. 
The Sword of Summer and The Hammer of Thought, again also by Rick Riordan, A Study in Charlotte and The Last of August by Brittany Caravero and Royal Bastard by Andrew Schwartz. My third shelf, which is full of my Shadowhunter items and some other bits and pieces, as you can see. I have like a Lila and Stitch Ohana bust. And my Little Miss Sunshine cup full of my bookmarks. So firstly we have Cinder. Cress, I'm missing the second book, Scarlet, I'm also missing Fairest and I'm missing Stars Above and Warrow and Nerve. I haven't kept up with my own Lunar Chronicle series, so damn, I have read them all, which is quite funny. And Winter by Marissa Meyer. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Clockwork Angel. Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess which all makes the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare City of Bones City of Ashes City of Glass City of Fallen Angels City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire all by Cassandra Clare and Cree in the Immortal Instruments series The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare and Friends Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, again by Cassandra Clare and Friends. Lady Midnight, and Lady Midnight again, this is the my signed edition, which I got at a Cassandra Clare event. Lord of Shadows, which is in the limited edition, Waterstones edition, which again is signed by Cassandra Clare and it's got some extras to it. Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, both by Lee Bardugo. Here's my fourth shelf. It's really messy. It's kind of a mixture of books that I didn't know where to put anywhere else. So here it is, the mess shelf. Firstly, I have a Kel Funko Pop from A Darker Shade Magic, which I did myself. Firstly, we have The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. And I Darken by Keir Sting White, The Winner's Kiss, The Winner's Crime, and The Winner's Curse, all by Marie Rukowski. I think these are in the wrong order. I don't know what order these go in, because there's no numbers on the spine, which is like pure evil. So they're in this order. If anyone knows the order, to let me know down below, because I do not know. <laughs> a Dark Shades of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and Conjuring of Light. All by the E. Schwab. My paperback edition of A Court of Wings of Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. This is like my reader's copy because I don't really like reading my hardback, so I got it in paperback too. Alienated by Melissa Landers. It has a fold down the middle of the page because I dropped it and it's one of them flimsy covers so it then and now it's got a line going through the middle of the people like I dissected them. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I only have this book, I do not have the rest. I just haven't bothered picking up because I heard it goes downhill from this book. The Young Elites, The Rose Society, and The Midnight Star by Marie Lou. Snow Like Ashes, Ice Like Fire, Frost Light Night by Sarah Raj. Replica, Seraphina and the Black Cloak by Robert Beatty. I think I messed his name up, but. Oops. Illusions of Fate by Kristen White. Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rosa Beliza. Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Firewalker. And Witches Prior, all by Josephine Agilini. This one is my fifth shelf, which is not seen on camera. This is why it is a state like it is. It's really terrible down this one. Witch Hunter by Virginia, I'm going to mess up the last name, Bo... Bo... Che, Bo Chica? The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevada. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. Next we have Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. This is the 20th anniversary edition of Outlander. 
Next we have the Iron Trial, the Copper Gauntlet, and as you can see there's a huge freaking size difference because I don't even know why there is, but this is how it came to me. And the Bronze Key by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. This is another book author name that I'm going to mess up. This is The Call by P. P. Dar O'Gullin. Dorothy Must Die. The Wicked Will Rise. Yellow Brick War, all by Danielle Page. I know the fourth one has just recently come out, but I don't think I'm going to be getting it anytime soon because I gave up the series. The Dark is Mine. And Through the Dark both by Alexandra Bracken. I picked up Through the Dark thinking it was the sequel to The Darkest Minds and turns out it's not. It's a prequel or a novella bind up and I never knew this until I started reading it. Which isn't very good but you know. The Diabolic by S.J. Kingcard. The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. These Broken Stars by Amy Koofman and Megan Spooner. Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Gordon. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Peace Pearson. Alice. Obsidian. Onyx. Opal. Origin. And Opposition, all by Jennifer L. Armantrout. And this makes up the Lux series, or the Lux series. I do not know how to pronounce this name for this series, but it's on terms of that. The Final Empire and The Well of Ascension, all by Brandon Sanderson, and this makes up half of the Mistborn trilogy. So this is my last shelf. This is like the messiest of the bunch. I have some Harry Potter wand boxes, my printer, um, the Suki Stackhouse series by Charlene Harris, which I haven't read yet. I've also got my paperback edition of Outlander and my paperback edition of Fangirl by Rainbow Row. I also have all of my TV series box sets, so Arrow, Flash, Supernatural, Outlander, Once Upon a Time, Big Bang Theory, The Musketeers and Lucifer. And that actually ends my bookshelf tour that that ends my bookshelf tour i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video do feel free to leave a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to my online bookish family do so down below obviously with the lovely big subscribe button obviously if you want to find me elsewhere do check me out i'm on facebook twitter instagram and mainly nearly all social networks without further ado i will see you next time bye